The Greater Bridgeport Youth Orchestras are celebrating their 50th anniversary with a couple of events coming up later today. GBYO's winter concert is going to be at the Klein Auditorium in Bridgeport, and then next Sunday, a gala alumni concert, too. That's going to be at the University of Bridgeport. Here to tell us more about both of these events and about the orchestras, too, we've got the Executive Director, Barb Upton, with us, as well as Music Director, Chris Heisey. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Got a lot of, tell us about the, the youth orchestras. We're talking about kids from a variety of ages, I understand, a lot of them, too. We have about 240 in grades 4 through 12 from 27 communities in southern Fairfield County and um, western New Haven County. Wow, okay. And Chris, what's it like working with these kids? Oh, it's a blast, I have to tell you. I look forward to getting out of bed early every Saturday morning to get down to rehearsal. It's a, they are really wonderful. They, they love music, they love their instruments, they love to come together as a team and and do their thing and I mean not many kids will get up to, from Saturday mornings to play music and yeah. they they do it and they're there it's wonderful a lot of dedication yeah yeah with all the great. different ages you've got to have different uh, different groups I imagine they're split up into five. several five different five okay. different groups. all right and uh, all five are playing today tomorrow to, so, I'm sorry no today I'm sorry today yes. Yes. Yeah, Sunday, it's Sunday. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Well, we're on the same page here today is Sunday and the concerts today right yeah, absolutely. Okay. three o'clock this afternoon playing. okay yes. at three o'clock today yeah. um we've got a little clip we want to play of a, a previous concert uh do you know what it is we're going to hear this is uh Tchaikovsky's March Slav and it was on a concert uh, of November 2010. okay let's take a little listen is very cool and not an easy piece I mean we're, we're you know, talking about kids stuff here well although it's kids playing it I mean check off see this those kids are good how much how much time goes into a concert like that we have about 10 9 to 10 weekly rehearsals between in each concert period wow that's it yeah that's they sound it. that good yeah oh yeah and rehearsals are tough I mean I'm you know the conductors and I are on the kids all the time about rhythm and dynamics and music and all of the things they're tough rehearsals but they get through them and, and in fact the more we push them the more they respond and the, and the more fun that they have okay it's great all right there's there's an, another group i guess that's planned today too i'm being told the steel pan ensemble tell me about them well the steel pans come from oil drums then it's really started in trinidad and tobago okay and the bass drums are about this tall and then they cut them down gradually to make them higher they have dents in them that make the notes yep, yep, and they yep. hit those with little mallets and this yep piece they're playing called Caprice was specifically written for a steel pan ensemble and symphony orchestra. And uh, is that local people too or is that from somewhere? Um, it's the Jim Royal Drum Studio. Um, it's right on the border of Fairfield and Bridgeport okay. and he, he has this group of kids and they've gone to Trinidad and Tobago and they do competitions with these things all the time. Wow, fantastic. Okay, so that's today. we got another one coming up next weekend. Though. That's alumni, is that right? Yes. Tell me about that. Well, we have about 40 alumni coming in from all over the country in Canada. Um, from 1961, when we started, we have a guy who was in the first orchestra and one of the first concert masters through kids that graduated last spring. All right. And are these people who are professionals or, or teaching still in the music biz? Some yes, some no. Okay. Some of them are just playing for fun when they can, and some of them are professional musicians. Wow. All right. Well, thank you both for coming in. If you want to know more about all the stuff that's going on, you can log on to our website, WTNH.com. And we've got a link to uh, their website so you can find out more about those concerts coming up.